The Peabody Essex Museum recently opened its new wing, adding over 15,000 square feet of gallery space to the existing building in downtown Salem. The first floor is devoted to local maritime history. The second highlights Asian exports, and the third explores fashion and design. There seems to be something missing, though. As I walked around, I couldn't seem to find one mention of the Salem Witch Trials. I found this rather odd, especially considering that the museum owns virtually every known artifact related to this event. When I asked the staff about this gaping hole in our local history, I was told to visit other Salem museums if I wanted to learn about the Witch Trials. Well, I have, and none of them really felt like legitimate museums. The depiction of a cliché Halloween witch on their signs, for instance, completely undermined their credibility as a scholarly resource. Inside, historically inaccurate and oftentimes tasteless dioramas were synced with spooky narration and eerie lighting, an experience more reminiscent of haunted houses than insightful exhibitions and their gift shops were overflowing with joke souvenirs that made light of the deaths of over 20 innocent people. Considering the abundance of these tourist traps, the Peabody Essex Museum has an intellectual obligation to establish a permanent exhibition on the Salem Witch Trials. Believe it or not, it can be done well. In June of 1992, the Essex Institute opened a special exhibition titled Days of Judgment, to commemorate the 300th anniversary of the Salem Witch Trials. It was the first major museum exhibition on the subject, and took over two and a half years of research, writing, and discussions to formulate. The in-depth exhibition helped visitors understand the social, economic, religious, and political climate of 1692. Original documents of the trials, such as examinations, confessions, and arrest warrants, were displayed for the first time. A variety of period artifacts were also showcased, including books, furniture, portraits, and other objects. Described as dignified and sobering by the New York Times, Days of Judgment proved that an informative and tasteful account of the Salem Witch Trials was possible. Like it or not, the Salem Witch Trials remain the number one reason why people visit this city, despite the richness of our maritime, literary, and architectural heritage. It has been whispered that the museum does not want to cater to this type of person, but this is an incredibly elitist position, one that directly contradicts the PEM's claim that, quote, everyone is welcome. Hopefully, Brian Kennedy, the PEM's new director and CEO, will realize that scholarly attention on this sensitive subject is long overdue.